You want Holy to shit, someone that? died, really. Yeah. yeah. I when they were going to show said a replay. This died, but someone died. Yeah, this was worse. This was real. But I remember when he was out, his toes curled and his eyes like looking back. I was like, they shouldn't show the replay yet until he gets up and we know he's fine cuz something fucked up just happened. But that's just Nganu. You know he's a favorite against Stipe? Betting favorite? I think Stipe I think Stipe has got a few more tricks up his sleeve. Mm. Do you get what I'm saying? Yeah. Uh, he's definitely more he well-rounded. Yeah. yeah. He can strike. You know, he can mix it up. Um, oh, but I'm not saying that Stipe's got a better stand-up style. But remember, they both did this guy in, in the first round. Yeah. yeah. Okay. A little bit different. Stipe's was a little closer. But I, I get like, what you're saying. I don't think Stipe is scared of Nganu. Right. A lot of guys will be like, rightfully so. He's fucking ginormous, and he right. knocks people out. But I don't, th I don't think Stipe is the guy who's going to be nervous. He's going to be like, no, give me, the, give me this I'm guy. I'm just saying, I, 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 I personally like uh, Ngano's style. Yeah. yeah. Do you get what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like he's got this really nice way of throwing punches and slipping, ducking under, and you know, following up with kicks. I like that style. Um, Stipe's got the boxing angle. Yeah, I would say so too. Do you get what With I'm saying? Like multiple so it, it, it's just as the fight goes on, it's more into Stipe's favor, way more. But you know what everyone's talking about, though. What? The Alvarez Geishi fight. Oh yeah, that was amazing. That was insane. That took us off our seats. Me and I was watching. A lot of great fights. The Dragon and Oliveira. Yeah. Irish Dragon. There was some. It was a great card. Yeah, it was overall really good. And then there was another one. Uh, Yancey, your boy. The guy you like. Another about. one, yeah. Yeah, that was a crazy fight. I knew, I knew that one would be. Yeah, because both of them are similar builds, similar styles. Right. Just gonna go after it. Yeah. But it was a bad night for Brazil. It was like I think the Hawaiians beat Brazil 2-0. Right. And then Felder beat Oliveira. What I tell you about uh, about Holloway? Uh, what? I've How heard. he would win? Same way. Yeah. Pretty, and it looked almost the same. When he went for the takedown, it's like, fuck, it's over now. It's going to end the same. It ended in the same round, too. Holloway, Holloway's got a great approach to fighting. Do you get what I'm saying? He, mm -hmm. He's not, like, beating somebody up. He is absolutely calculating like a fucking mathematician mm -hmm. how to destroy someone at the right time. We should talk about a lot of people are discussing, is he the greatest featherweight of all time already? You think so? Uh, well, he has to fight Connor. I think people are saying that he should. So who do you consider best featherweight of all time right now? You can't, you know, it's one of those loaded questions where it's like, It doesn't even matter? You know, at the time, against the people that, you know, there were, uh, that were competing. How do you give a fair, you know... Yeah, it's, it's like, like pound for pound. Yeah. It's like, how could you say heavyweight I mean, and Demetrius Johnson when they can't right. fight? Even, even Connor McGregor... Didn't fight, uh, what's his name, Mendez? Uh, Frankie? No. What's his name? The one he beat for the belt when he got the interim belt. Oh, oh Mendez. Yeah. He didn't fight him at 100%. Hmm. And the way I saw the fight, the guy was whooping his ass. Do you get what I'm saying? Until yeah, he tired was, out. He was getting beat up, definitely. So, uh, no, it's a loaded question. You know, I think... I think Connor has kind of like glided. Now I'm not taking any way, anything away from Connor. You know, it's just stars aligned for him in his life. Yeah. I don't you know what I mean? see you taking anything away from him. I think he yeah. took advantage of opportunities. Yeah, he did, and it also, holy shit, we didn't we didn't even know about this last week. But what? the mob stuff. This oh, guy. Yeah. What did I say? A That's few really weeks unclear. Ago. All that. What did I say a few weeks ago? Huh? Where he's going? What he needs to do. And this comes up, the guy's on a fucking tear. Yeah. It's, that story is like a rumor, but some people are saying it's absolutely true. I don't know whether no, to believe it or not. It's already, it's already out there. Yeah, it's true. He even said, you know, fuck you, come after me. I think, no, but when he said come get me, when I first saw it, 
I thought come get me and then speeding off in the car was like come get me I'm gonna speed off like paparazzi oh, in your in your little cars come get me while I speed off in so this far nice nobody's denying the only thing that crossed my mind right yeah. the only thing that crossed my mind is there is something that says that the guy he was defending is part of that crew so if that crew is fighting with each other why can't they come to some sort of you know Resolve. Do you get what I'm saying? Yeah. I'm wondering if it's like, like a gimmick. To make him or like his legend. To, to make him a le you know, like this. Just to add more tough. mystery to him. Yeah. 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 I don't know what to think of it because it's uh, still really unclear. It's surprising in this day and age there's a fight and there's no video of it. I feel like everything is recorded, everything is videotaped. You just expect that when you hear something happen, it's like, oh, where's the video? But this, there is no video. So that's such a weird thing in 2017. Listen, that was, a, I have to say, some crazy things have been happening. Yeah. It's good, though. All good. UFC's events have been crazy. MMA fights in general have yeah. been performing, yeah, absolutely. delivering. Absolutely. No, and it, it, and yes, done, of course, but it's, like, but, um, it's kind of like one of those, it's reaching its all-time all high, and mm. there might be a dip coming, you know? What if it all implodes? We just lost the greatest fighter, you know. We might lose Connor, you know. Yeah, I, don't know if, we, the, I don't know if Dana White's part of this gimmick where he's telling everyone these days, oh, you know, Connor might never come back. Yeah, like he's teasing things, but yeah. I think this year, uh, a star that emerged, like the biggest product that the UFC made is Francis Ngannou now. When was the last time you got so excited for a heavyweight fight? This is going to be crazy. And Gano versus Stipe. Yeah, that's going to be good. Just them talking to each other on Twitter. Right. And like just the way Ngano speaks, he's super respectful and like this gentle giant, but he's still... We got to have says, a whole whole episode about this. I got to take I gotta take Jimmy Dava, but uh, are you done with school? Uh, soon. Okay. We got to have a whole big episode yeah. about this. We can also, talk about Ngano Stipe for a while. Yeah, because it's too much going on. Yeah. yeah. To just cut it short. Right now, I have to cut it short, but right. I think uh, I think that uh, wanted to change up the speed a little bit, you know, yeah. and uh, bring in someone and talk about some other stuff, you know. Yeah, it was fun, but uh, we got more guests coming on. Randy yeah. Brown is going to be joining us soon. That's going to be fun. Yeah, uh, and got other guys lined up, you know. Um, but what a, what a week last week. Mm -hmm. For the MMA world, it was big. Eddie Alvarez, man. That's yeah. all I'm not even just talking animal. about the car. I'm talking about whatever's happening outside the ring and all this stuff. It's just craziness all over. A lot of things to talk about. Mm -hmm. um, Connor's run amok. He seems to have it all, all under control, though. Who knows what's going on behind the scenes, but... When you, when you fuck with dirty people, you become dirty. So if this is real, there's no good way out of it. We'll see what happens. Unless Dana White flies down, <laughs> pays what these a, guys off. What a plane full of money. Yeah. Do you get what I'm saying? Yeah. Hell, what if Connors made this whole thing up so that those boys could collect $900,000 from, For them, from right? UFC? Yeah. Do you get what I'm saying? Yeah, like, yeah. Who I, the fuck knows? It's these conspiracies. I, I don't think it's anything, really. That's because, uh, because what do you call it? Dana White did say, he's like, anything can be handled. Now, basically what he's saying is, I know some people who know some people, do you get what I'm saying? Yeah. That can make this thing go away. Yeah, sweep it under the rug. Because Las Vegas, Fatata Brothers, Italian mob, you know, mm. mobs have a respect for each other because they don't want to go to war over, you know, their interests, you know? So, that's it. Anyway, 